The orchestra and I are going to play for the first time together Mahler's Sixth Symphony. A few years ago, together with the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra, the Halle gave a complete cycle of all Mahler symphonies, all ten of them. We shared them out. But we didn't play the Sixth Symphony then, and it's high time that we played it. It's one of my favourite works, and it's a huge challenge for the orchestra to play it and bring it over. So this is another concert that might be very, very exciting. It lasts about an hour and 20 minutes. And I remember when I played it once many years ago in Brighton, and I told the audience that, a man called out, oh my God, I've got a bus to catch. It's a very passionately autobiographical work, and it deals with issues that for Mahler were central to his life and his neurosis. He knew that he had a bad heart, a weak heart condition. He knew that his life probably wouldn't last very much longer. And he felt the power of his fate coming nearer and nearer. Now this idea of fate, what is fate? The power of our destiny that's perhaps controlled by some much greater power than we will ever understand. An act of fate is something seeming to happen without any particular purpose. It befalls us. And we're thinking about fate in many of the programmes this year because it's a wonderful subject for musical treatment and many composers have delved into it. Mahler's Sixth Symphony climaxes with a great part of it being concerned with fate and he characterised that by asking for a hammer blow. Amazing idea. In the middle of this torrent of notes, we have to imitate the sound of an enormous hammer crashing down on the platform. And Mahler did this three times in the course of the long last movement. But he was so superstitious that he thought he was playing with fate, he was toying with it, that he took out the third one, hoping perhaps to increase the length of his not very long life. I think we should play that third hammer blow. I think it was part of his musical conception. And it is very frightening, it is very moving, and it ends in great tragedy with that third hammer blow.